Hey, hey, it's Charlie Ray. Welcome back to my channel. I would like to present to you yet another fruity crochet creation. So here we go. You may have seen my previous video where I made this strawberry bikini top. Today we are going to make the matching bottom for this bikini top. So just as we did for the top, we are using red and green number four weight yarn. Also, I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the slip knot while I mention a couple of things you need to know. When you are making this suit, you are using measurements instead of a specific number of stitches. So that means you can use whatever yarn you want. So if your yarn is much smaller, you can use a smaller hook and make more stitches. So feel free to pick out whichever yarn you would like to use. So I've made the length of this chain to be eight inches or 18 centimeters. And the first thing I'm going to do is single crochet in the first and every other chain along the way. Now that I have single crocheted into each chain, I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and I'm going to double crochet into this first stitch. And then I'm going to chain two and double crochet into the next stitch. Oops. Just like that. So I'm going to continue this pattern until I reach the end. And again, we have our double crochet here. So I'm going to chain two and then double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, and double crochet, and so on and so forth. Once you've made your last double crochet, instead of chaining two, you are just going to slip stitch right and in back into the same stitch. So right in here, And you are done you can tie that off you are actually going to make two of these one is for the front and one is for the back and you will need to take your measurements to determine how wide you want the back to be and how wide you want the front to be you want to measure from hip to hip at the widest point at the top for both the front and the back so you can determine how wide you want that part to be. We're going to start there and then taper down towards the bottom of the bikini. We are doing the front and back of the bikini the same way. So taking one of the pieces that you just made, this just so happens to be the front, you are going to start in one of these corners where you measure from here to here. The next thing you want to do is attach your red yarn to whichever side you want to be the front side of your work. Generally speaking, they're pretty much the same, so either side should be fine. Starting off, we are going to single crochet into that same stitch. And then we are going to double crochet and single crochet and double crochet. Again, we are just going to keep alternating just like we did on the top of this bikini. So here's what that first row is going to look like. And we're going to continue making our rows this way in order to form the stitch pattern. So my first row ended with a double crochet. So I am going to chain one, turn, and single crochet right back into that same stitch and then continue to alternate. 
For more coverage, you can do more rows worked evenly, but for this particular bikini, I am doing three work three rows worked evenly in the front and five rows worked evenly in the back. And then we will begin to make our decreases. So now I have my three rows worked evenly. I am going to start reducing. Right here I've ended with a double crochet. I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and instead of making a single crochet here, I am going to make a double crochet in the next stitch because the stitch below it is a single crochet. So, I'm essentially just skipping that first stitch and then I will continue to do my alternate stitches until I get to the other end. It looks a little funny at first, like you're just leaving off bits, which you are, but I think this shape lends itself well to the strawberry. So on this end, since I have this double, even though I have the double here and I would normally make a single crochet, I'm just going to chain one, turn, and double, skip this first stitch and double into the second one, which is the single crochet. As long as you make sure that the stitch below the one you're working on is the opposite stitch, you should be fine. Once you have your desired amount of coverage for the front, don't fasten off yet because you'll need to make the middle portion or the crotch of your bikini bottom. So here I have the bottom and this has a small portion of the crotch connected to this already or this side already. You can make it the length or width that you want, but whichever, whatever you decide, once you do your other side, when it gets to that width, go ahead and stop and start making even rows again until you get the length that you want here. In this case, I am going to do the same amount on this one as I have right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to hold these two together and just sew the pieces together. Once you're done with that, using an elastic thread, you can sew all along the inside of your bikini until you get back to where you started. The only thing you have left after that is making your cord. So for this cord, I chained 260 chains and I just fastened them off and I just cut it off and pulled it taut. But I would definitely say that the end needs something. Um, I was undecided of what to do. So I just left it as is for now but beads or something like that would, would be cute at the ends of this suit. Maybe some white ones that match the seeds if you are doing the seeds. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more to the bottom of this and sew these together so that we can get a final look at this bikini bottom. All right, all right, all right. We have a strawberry bikini bottom. This was fun to make and I hope it's fun for you to make too. Let me give you a quick look at the back of this bikini before I go. That's still the front, give me just a second. Okay, here's the back guys. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Bye.